So I have this theory about unboxing videos. And my theory is that they are designed so that sponsors can laugh at creators trying to unbox large objects by themselves. Welcome back to another episode of Beauty and the Bolts. Today, we're going to be unboxing this Dremel Digilab 3D45 3D printer. And just so you know, this uh, is a sponsored video, but Dremel wants us to make a video unboxing their 3D printer. I have looked at nothing about this 3D printer, and I am going to be unboxing it and setting it up and running the first print and taking you on that journey. So what we're looking for is how easy is this for someone who honestly doesn't spend a lot of time 3D printing to set up. I don't mind doing that. Go! Ah! Okay, so in the top of the box we have our, what looks like a glass filled plate. Operating, oh, safety instructions. And just giving me the like, you can't throw the safety instructions away on a sponsored video. Don't worry, I'll pick them up again. Okay. This is great. I made a completely useful box for other stuff in the office. Completely useless. All right, so I'm just gonna start ripping. Okay. That means that ha. Good thing I didn't like wrench it upwards, because that's totally the direction I thought it opened. <laughs> okay, so USB B. I'm assuming you use that to connect it. This is an IAC cable. So your power. Ooh, a little uh, spatula with a rubbery handle. That's nice. Spatula. And glue sticks. Purple glue sticks. Okay, there's definitely something I don't know about. It is acid-free, photo-safe, and non-toxic with a happy little smiley face too. All right, so inside of here, so there is a little USB dongle thing and a really over twisted piece of wire. It could have stopped. Oh, quick start guide. I like this. Bye bye, glue stick. Oh, and it comes in three languages. All Latin based languages though, so if you speak Chinese, you're SOL. 3D45 quick start guide. Unboxing. It tells you how to unbox it? What? That's cheating. What's like, what's the fun in that? Oh wait, this is the part I'm stuck on. You take the, this thing out. It's like Ikea. Oh. That felt wrong. I hate forcing motors. It just... <sighs> I got all the things out of it. It is now unboxed. Wait. We got through the unboxing section of the start guide. Does that mean this video is done? These are vacuum wrap. That's exciting. Ooh, so these have like a little RFID tag. My guess is the printer recognizes what material you get gets put into it and adjusts its settings accordingly. At least if I was Dremel, that's why I would put an RFID tag. Or they're being butts and it won't let you print anything that's not their filament. Firmware updates. Update your firmware, people. So now, get to know your Dremel 3D45. This is a fully enclosed 3D printer, which means that in theory, it's gonna print better than a not enclosed 3D printer because of heat control or like temperature control of the entire printing area. There's a screen, which I hope is a touch screen because I don't see any knobs. Okay, this definitely, I was really confident, am I wrong? Err, aha, ah. So, it's that way. Once you know it's there, it's not terrible. Not a deal breaker. Okay, let's keep going. So while that's turning on, I'm gonna open up my filament. She's still booting, a little slow. Ooh. Hello, welcome to the world. Oh no, Dremel, fix this sticky adhesive. What's a warning sticker? Isn't that supposed to stay on there? No, well, it's ugly, so it's coming off. Come on. Okay, so I'm gonna select a country. I'm gonna go United States. Um, Inglis, por favor. She's slow. Oh man, she's slow. Oh buddy. What? Eula. Are you just gonna agree to it? Yeah, who reads this? Come on, accept. Goodbye, firstborn child. I'm gonna set up the network. Oh, look at that, beauty and the bolt. Well, beauty and the, leave the rest up to the imagination. Oh. That's dumb. Ah! 
done. Connecting dinner, we'll see if I got that right. I had to go backwards because we have camel case in our password and then I forgot to uncapitalize and it doesn't automatically uncapitalize. Connect to the internet, I got it right. Okay, next. Ooh, hello. Open filament door. Okay, open filament door. Feed filament into tube and secure spool. Um, the RFID tag is right here, so I'm assuming it's gonna read it somewhere in this little donut. Okay, so that's right or up. Okay, got it. Feed filament until extruder grabs it. Well. Okay, so when it says feed until extruder grabs it, that means the motor's not on yet. You have to click next and then it will actually grab it. Oh, there it is. Little 3D filament to. Ah, so it is RFID detecting. Your filament is now loaded. One more step. Ooh. It Apply a layer of glue and secure build platform in place. What? Oh, that's what the glue stick is for. Wait, am I gluing the top of the build plate or the bottom of the build? I don't need two glue sticks. I think it's for like adhesion for the part. It really makes it sound like you're gluing the platform down to the heater, but I think that it's you glue the top. Do I make a pattern? Do I like write hello or do I? This is weird. Why am I doing this? Uh, done, I guess. Verifying build platform is level. Where did it go? <laughs> Why does it do that? Build platform is too low. Turn left to raise. Oh my gosh, it's like babying me. Will it tell me? Oh, look at that. Did you see that? Okay, so it's like, I turn it. Ah! And then it like tells you when to stop. That's so great. Verify. Leveling is complete. Your printer is now ready to use. Build on. Build on. Firmware updates. Update your firmware, people. Okay, well, oh well. Hopefully there's something built in here. Build. Build. Oh, yes there is, okay. What do I want to build? There's a lion and a mechanic and a hose bracket, a fidget spinner, oh heck no. Two hours, three hours, okay, sure. Build. Ooh. Yeah, so in theory I'm done and I can leave and eat my Swedish fish and this will just print, but I have been well trained by 3D printers to always watch it finish the first couple layers. Got my eyes on you. So right now it's doing the thing where it tells you how long is left, which is very convenient and a lot of printers don't do that. So, um, and it's got the nozzle temperature, platform temperature, and then pause and stop. So at this point, there's nothing left for us to do. Um, from when we started unboxing to now, it has been one hour. Printing within one hour is actually really good. Uh, I'm impressed. Other than it's boot up time, which was, whew, buddy. Um, and the glue thing is weird. I don't totally understand the glue thing, but maybe I'll look into it a little more. Tomorrow, I will come back more edumacated. Ooh, I got a shark. Build complete, clear the build platform. Except. Oh, I need a spatula. Yeah. Ah. Remember yesterday how I said I would come back today more educated on this tool? I lied. Flippity heck. Yeah. Got it. That's an impressive print. Okay, so the surface finish is really good. That being said, um, this is their file, so they really like planned, you know, they know the machine, they know what it's best at. If you look really, really, really freaking close, you'll see occasional bits where it was like, there was more material extruded and there's a very small amount of stringing here on the bottom. But also like this part was printed with no support material, so 
Okay, so I am never confident to say my final thoughts on a machine after running literally just one job and it's the test job on it. Um, but so far I'm actually pretty impressed with how it turned out and actually how easy it was to set up. Like I historically have actually not gotten along particularly well with 3D printers. Um, so it was kind of nice to be handheld through the process. We'll be putting this machine through the paces in the next couple of weeks. So definitely stay tuned if you're interested or if you're thinking about purchasing this machine or you just wanna see more of my smiley face. Um, we'll be testing some like highly technical parts as well as all of the different materials. Oh, hey, also, so this was our first real unboxing video. What'd you like? What'd you not like? You should tell us down in the comments below so that we can do better next time. Bye. Baby shark doo 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 loo. Baby shark doo 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 loo. Mom shark doo 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 loo. Mom shark doo doo. Are you going doo doo loo? That's what it is. It's doo loo.